Okay, assalamu alaikum grade five. So today our topic is subtraction up to five digit numbers. So I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. Just follow with me. Right, so here in our example, we have 19,845 minus 8,478. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do, that we are gonna do is break up these numbers into their different place values. Okay, so we're gonna break up the 10,000s, the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the units. Okay, so let's begin. So here in 19,845, we have 10,000. But in this number here, 8,478, we don't have a 10,000. So that 10,000 will stand alone. Right. Next, you must put a positive sign because we are adding up the numbers after we subtract them. Right, Because we are breaking them up, we need to add them back together. Right. Then we have, let's look at our thousands column. Here we have 9,000, here we have 8,000. So we say 9,000 minus 8,000. Plus, in our hundreds column, 800 minus 400. Plus, in our tens column, 40 minus 70. I know 40 cannot minus 70, but I'm going to show you how to borrow afterwards. And then in our units column, we have 5 minus 8. 5 cannot minus 8. So I'm going to show you what to do next. So here we are just going to solve what we did. 10,000 plus 9,000 minus 8,000 is 1,000. 800 minus 400 is 400. 30 minus 70, we still cannot minus. Now, here I borrowed. It is important that we always start. When we borrow, we have to start from the units side. You cannot start from... Um, if you have units that need to be borrowed, you cannot start from the tens. You must start from the unit side. Okay, it is very important. So that's why I started borrowing from there. So I took the 10 from the 40 here and I gave it to the 5. So that 40 became 30. Right? So we have 15 minus 8. 15 can minus 8, so that is fine. Now we are going to move on. Right. The next step is to get, make this number bigger. So in order to do that, we have to borrow from the hundreds. So we are going to take out a hundred from there. That will become 300. And this 30 will become 130. Now that our numbers are big enough to subtract, we can um, solve it. So we have a thousand Sorry, 10,000 plus 1,000 plus 300, 130 minus 70 is 60, and 15 minus 8 is 7. You just add them all up and you get the answer of 11,367. Okay? Right. I hope that you understand. Um, let's move on. The first, that was the first method. Now we are going to look at the second method. I prefer this method because it prevents any confusion and also we are used to um, column method and this is similar to column method. Okay, let's look at it. We're just going to put the numbers here like in column method and we are going to subtract. Right, 5 minus 8, it cannot minus 8, we need to borrow 1 from the 4. So it becomes 15. So 15 minus 8 is 7. I suggest you put it here on the side so that it will make it much more easier for you to understand. Right. Then we have 3 minus 7. 3 cannot, sorry, 30 minus 70. 30 cannot minus 70. You borrow 100 from here. So it's going to be 130 minus 70. You're going to get 60. This became a 7. So 700 minus 400 is 300. 9,000 minus 8,000 is 1,000. And then our 10,000 is left alone. There is no 10,000 here. So we just add up these numbers and we get the same answer as before. See, so you can use either method. I prefer the second method. Okay. I think just like yesterday. So um, try it out. I hope you guys understand. What, for your activity, use whichever method you are comfortable with. You do not have to use the first method um, if you are uncomfortable with it. Okay, uh, good luck. Assalamu alaikum.